Okay, here we go. You ready with the sashimi? Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, uh, the next part hinges on this word yin kyap nyam, right? Yin kyap nyam, equal sets. Okay, literally equal extent of isness. Okay, <laughs> yin kyap nyam. And then it always comes after two, two groups, two sets. And then it means these two sets are equal in their extent. Okay, <laughs> what are they? Tapato bitsema yupa. There does exist an accurate perception. I like accurate rather than correct. I mean, I, I've been using correct for a lot of years. I, in my older translations, I saw accurate, and it's, it's more accurate. <laughs> uh, there does exist an ac because correct can, can imply someone decided morally that it's correct, but accurate always means accurate. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh, there does exist a cr an accurate perception. Uh, with which you see, or okay, mm -hmm. uh, that something is unchanging and changing are equal sets. Okay, to be seen to be accurate, to be seen to be changing by an accurate perception, and to be changing is equal. It's equal. Uh, unchanging. Okay. unchanging. Yeah, I'm sorry. Unchanging. Okay, uh, because we just finished this same discussion with Mitapa wow. or Mepa. Sorry. Oh, this is okay. Our Oops, what happened? That's fine. My word does this. I think it's because the thing is... Yeah, it's, uh, it's loading all the files. Oh, all the pages. Oh, is it? Oh, all the pages, yeah. oh, where was I? We don't know. Yin Kyap. Let's go to Yin Kyap. There, we were there. Okay, okay. Now, uh... Takpayina, if something is unchanging, tapatopitsama yupa yin bikyap. There must, if something is unchanging, there must exist for it a, an accurate perception with which you understand or which, with which you realize that it is uh, unchanging. The only trick here is this yin. Okay? Uh, if something is unchanging, it must be something where there is. Okay? okay? Got it? The yupa yin is a little difficult. If something is unchanging, it must be something where there is. Yupa yin. Okay, that's a little tricky. Doesn't okay. say, this say something about our question about is a tsema, um, uh, that which, uh, sorry, is a yupa that which can be perceived by the perception versus that which is perceived? Because this says if a thing is takpa, there must be. Yeah, it says, for which there it is does say, yeah. yeah. Uh, but you could say it can be seen, but I, there's no nupa here, so I, I would kind of tend towards that there is. Okay, tapa tope sema yupa yina. If something is such that there exists, you see, yupa yina. If something is such that there does exist an accurate perception with which you understand that it is, un that it is unchanging, then it will always be unchanging. Okay. Uh, now he just does the same thing with Ngopo. 
uh, th these are the following are two equal sets. Uh, there does exist an accurate perception with which you perceive that it's a functional thing mm -hmm. and functional thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Those are equal sets. And then he goes through the Kyabas. We don't have to waste time on that. Okay. I automated a lot of Course 13, as mm -hmm. I told you, because it was so repetitive. Mm -hmm. you know. mm. They're just doing reconfirmation checks. Right. There's that in communications. I forget what it's called. You send a signal, and then the signal uh, comes back to confirm that the signal you sent was the signal you sent. Okay. Mebatobi sama, mebatobi sama, yepadong. Wow. Now they start piling them up to teach young monks to think in black, black, black. Okay? Uh -huh. If there exists an accurate perception that something doesn't exist, where there doesn't exist a perception of something, uh, where there's. Uh, if there exists a correct perception that there is no correct perception, then the thing is not there. If there exists a correct perception that there doesn't exist an accurate perception that the thing is not there that's equal to it's there great okay equal stats okay i'm not going to say it again cuz i i won't be able to do it right the second time okay yepa yena mepa topetsema mepa topetsema yepa yimbe kyap if something exists then it's always the case that there does exist an accurate perception that sees that there doesn't exist an accurate perception that says it doesn't exist. <laughs> okay, you gotta take a deep breath before you do this. Uh, and then he goes on like that. You can figure it out. You don't need me for that. Okay. Uh, check to there means I've I've uh, looked ahead in the text and I understand up to here. <laughs> <laughs> so we just reached the edge of my understanding. It means I had time to look at it at home. And I'm mostly okay with what I don't look at at home, but I teach it better if I have looked at it at home. But sometimes I just don't have the time to look at it at home because I might have gone on to a Mexican restaurant last night. <laughs> okay, Madhubna, Mebutopitsema, Mebutopitsema, Yubayina, Yubayin Bichata. If you disagree to uh, all the stuff we just said, all those little rules we just gave you, right? Then uh, it must be the case that if there does exist a correct an accurate perception, that there doesn't exist an accurate perception, that the thing is not there, that it exists. Mm -hmm. Okay, you figure it out. <laughs> okay. If there exists an accurate perception that sees that there is no accurate perception, that there that something isn't there. Oh, by the way, this is wrong loop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It does too exist because this is cool because he, he's teaching young monks if you pile them up in even numbers or uneven numbers, you ah. come up. Okay, <laughs> so it's, he's giving the monks a clue. And you can see monks in a debate with their, their the guy, uh, that's one of the reasons you take a rosary. You say, give me the five this is, and then they go one, and then you, 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 you check it in their face. You say, you only got for four, man. <laughs> you, know, you, you go like this, okay? But, but also, when you're, going, when you're going, there does exist a perception that doesn't exist, that there does exist, that there doesn't exist, and then you, you see guys going like this, you know? And this is what they're doing. Mebutopitsema, mebutopitsema, nido. When you talk about a, an accurate perception that there doesn't exist an accurate perception that it's not there, okay? Ni, shi, duglasopa, cha chungna, if you come up with even numbers, cha, pairs, okay? If you come up with even numbers like two or four or six, then it necessarily exists. It must exist. Meaning, here it means pair. Yeah, cha, cha. Cha chung na means if you come out with a pair rather than a single. Mm -hmm. cool. Which means we would say even number rather than an odd ah. number. It's just even number or odd number. I've seen it refer to one of a pair before. Uh, or maybe not. No, that would be <coughs> yen lock or uh, something like that. Cha means a pair. And it's convenient because the, the letter. 
Oh yeah, top looks like a. Yeah, it looks right, like right. two things side by side. <laughs> you know, that's how I used to memorize it. I, I think it might even be re why they chose char. I don't know. Okay, but the the Tibetan letter has two circles side by side, so it looks like a pair. The word for pair looks like a pair. Okay, the symbol for pair. Okay, tapa tapa sema ngupa tapa sema yepa dong. Tapa ni yin kya nyam yente. If there exists an accurate perception that it is a functioning thing about the accurate perception that something is unchanging. So you can have an accurate perception that something is unchanging, but that perception in itself can be confirmed by another accurate perception as being a functional thing, cool. a changing cool. thing. Okay? So this ngupo here refers to the tsema here and not the takpa. <coughs> They're just trying to point out to young students, just because the, m the mind is focused on something unchanging, doesn't mean the mind is unchanging. Yeah. The, mind that's fo the mind that perceives emptiness directly is changing. changing and it's a functional thing. Mm -hmm. But the object it's looking at is, is ultimately unchanging and, and uh, a non-functional thing. Okay. Which might lead you to the argument of why then do I have to perceive it to become enlightened because it can't do anything. <laughs> and then the, the answer, by the way, is the perception of it gets you enlightened, right. not, not no. the emptiness. Because no. the emptiness can't do anything because it doesn't change, mm -hmm. so it doesn't function. Okay. Well, then it doesn't serve as the object of my perception. <laughs> We'll talk about that some other day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. These are equal sets. Uh, okay. Uh, this now, this gets nasty. Anyway, there does exist a perception uh, which perceives. Uh, now, this is tough. I think it's going this way. Uh, is the existence of a perception changing or unchanging? Does the existence, the, the fact that it exists? Change, change, it's a, yeah, it's a fact. No, it's a fact. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's unchanging. Yeah, okay. I think that's where he's going here. Okay. If there exists... Okay, so if I have a perception of your mind that says uh, your mind, your perception of unchanging things is a functioning thing, mm -hmm. okay, if I perceive that if, if I perceive with my correct perception that your thoughts about unchanging things like emptiness uh, are, are functioning, mm -hmm. which I hope they are, uh, then the presence of my perception in the universe is unchanging. unchanging okay? uh -huh. my, my perception is changing. Okay. But the existence of my perception, the fact of my perception, Michael's having a perception for as long as the perception lasts, is an unchanging thing. Wow. Okay? Facts are unchanging. <coughs> Even though I may stop having that perception, mm -hmm. but as long as I do have it, it's not more or less. Mm -hmm. I can't 90% have that perception or 50% have that perception. When you say that perception exists in Michael's mind, even if it's only for a second, that's unchanging. The existence of his perception is unchanging. The perception is changing. Mm -hmm. Got it? Okay. Is there a coffee cup on the table? <coughs> yes. Is the coffee cup changing? Yes. Is the presence of the coffee cup changing? No. no. Not until it leaves the room. Then it goes out of okay. Got it? <laughs> so does that somehow fall into the category of lax in that classical division of you know, unchanging things that doesn't mm -hmm. affect? Then his book is wrong. By the way, the right. Stanley's book had three unchanging things yesterday. Mm -hmm. that the, f the idea of facts being unchanging is mostly a second school thing. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, hmm. But it makes sense. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Tapa nyi yin Tapa yina, tapa topit sema, ngupa topit sema, yin pe yin be If something is unchanging, Okay, it must be the case that there does exist a correct perception, an accurate perception, wherein you realize that the perception that something is unchanging is a functioning thing. No. 
<laughs> yeah, the present, the present. Okay, if 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 emptiness is unchanging, then the presence of a perception, which sees that the perception of emptiness is a changing thing, is an unchanging thing. Okay. 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 Let's go on before you question me too much. Uh, if there does exist with regard to a thing, a correct perception, that the perception that it's unchanging is a functioning thing, then that thing which it's focused on is unchanging. The first one, the first perception. You, you take it home and think about it. Okay, <laughs> it's just to sharpen young people's minds. Okay, uh, the pre if you say now, if with regard to a, the first perception, the second perception that it exists. Okay, so you have a, a his mind is perceiving a functioning thing. Okay, like coffee cup. Your mind's perceiving coffee cup. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at your mind and thinking how you have that perception, okay? And he's looking at, at, my, at the existence of my perception, that he has a perception of a changing thing, okay? Functioning thing. Uh, that's the same thing as to say that thing is a, okay. is a functioning thing. Okay? That there's two perceptions confirming it is the same thing as saying it's a functioning thing. Okay. No, I'm just giving you an example to make it easier. Yeah, it could be in the mind of one person. Yeah. You can figure it out. Okay. Uh, he's just piling them on. How many yup has he got here? Four. The, the fact, if there does exist with regard to an object, a, an accurate perception that says it exists, mm -hmm. then there does exist an accurate perception that perceives that there's an accurate perception that there is an accurate perception. He's just piling them up. <laughs> here it is, here. Say, <laughs> Chitsam uh, Tsek. Tsek means to pile up bricks when you're making a wall. And the locus classicus of this word is in the Vinaya. Not making a wall of a certain height? You're not supposed to add on layers of brick t too fast. It's a monk's vow. Because mm -hmm. apparently a temple fell down. Somebody was in a hurry and the temple fell down and crushed the monks. <laughs> like so then they made a rule. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I didn't hear about that. That's okay. no but uh, that's okay. if you add too many bricks on top of wet mortar, the thing collapses. So there's, what do you call it? Uh, a line of bricks. You're only allowed to do so many lines of check. You're only allowed to check so many on top of each other. So here, Chitam Tsekyang, no matter how many yuppas you pile up, there does exist a correct perception that there does exist a correct perception that there does exist a person. Then you don't have to go to even an odd. Then you don't have to go to even an odd. It's just a reconfirmation. Okay. okay. I saw, I, I perceived that I had a perception, that I had a perception, that I had a perception, that I had a perception. You can keep going forever. No matter chitam tsekyang, no matter how many you pile up, uh, you still get ya in the end. There it is. Ya being the chap. We believe it, okay? There does exist an accurate perception uh, that the perception that something is there is a functioning thing. Mm -hmm. There does exist an accurate perception that the perception that something is there is a functioning thing because the first one the perception that something is there is itself a functioning thing. All perceptions are functioning things. It could have been mepratopitsema, okay? Uh, now, here it is, okay? One of the most important lines in the whole dura. He's going to be on dura for a good chunk of his adult life. <laughs> He's marrying you and the Dura. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> so here it is, one of the most important lines in all of the Yipe uh, Tseni Yete, does there does exist a definition of does existing. It's a pun. Uh, anything which is perceived with an accurate perception is, exists, and anything which is not perceived by an accurate perception does exist, and that only holds if you are a Buddhist. Why? Believe in Buddha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it assumes a Buddha who can see the tree fall in the forest. Okay. Uh, there are dirty debates where you can do it without that. Probably. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. This is something I'm sure you guys did in the monastery. Oh, man. Well, no. I mean, Diamond Mountain had a much tougher debate ground for that kind of thing. Uh, yeah. In the monastery, they stick to. They can structure. quote something. Right. Mm -hmm. Where you can't quote anything, you have to totally lean on logic. Mm -hmm. That's the story of my life in the monastery. <laughs> I'm like, let's not talk about that scripture. Let's prove it. Because <laughs> I, I didn't know the scripture. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, the, the second most uh, important line, okay, in the Dura, uh, he gives the synonyms for existence. Mm -hmm. So, dun chik means you can say synonyms, mm -hmm. or you can say they're all the same thing. To say that they are one meaning is not English. Who is it one and the same? They're not one and the same. Yes, right. uh, different thing, different or you can say they all mean the same thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you translate, think of how normal people would say something. That's the mixed nut school. Mm -hmm. That's our school of translation. Think how a normal person. And if you're not sure, check it with your wife. You know, check it on your partner. You know, honey, does this sound normal? And she say, no. Yepa da sheja da shidu. That's why you should marry both at the same time. Because uh, <laughs> you get an instant editor. Uh, okay, there's four, there's four uh, synonyms here. Yepa, sheja, shidu, and ch. Okay, exists, knowable thing. She do, I, I have a translation, I don't remember what it was. You can probably check Course 13. Uh, literally, it's right, the foundation has come about, but you can't use that. And Ch, Dharma, they're all the same thing. Okay. I looked up the definition of She do. You want to do it? Oh, here, it's right here. Uh, let's go through in order. She je seni yute, noble thing. There's a definition for the phrase, knowable thing. Lo yu te Anything which can be, anything which can serve mm -hmm. as an object of the mind. Would you say an object of consciousness in that point? Or object of it doesn't matter, mm -hmm. same thing. Okay. Usually I reserve consciousness for namshi. Mm -hmm. You said a thing which can be established as existing, or a thing that can be established as existing throughout Course 13. Okay, good. That's not bad because here's the definition of shidru. So let's say we see, let's say that that's a correct translation or, or a viable <laughs> translation. You say, anything which can be established as existing, the definition of it is that which is established through an accurate perception. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so what's the only difference between this definition and the one for Yupa? Seen or established. Yeah, Tseme Mikpa or Tseme Dupa. That's all. That's the difference between Yupa and Shidu. Mm -hmm. mm. And Shudu occurs a lot in scripture, okay? So you got to decide on a translation for it. Chukyu Tseni Yote, Ranging Ola Zimba De Yimbe We already had that in the Kachik, in the Shenluk Akpa. The definition of a Dharma is anything that, that retains its own nature, anything that holds its own nature. And that's a no, that's a pun, right? Because the Sanskrit root for Zimba is dur, and Dharma comes from that. And this is one of those puns that doesn't come through in the Tibetan, and later became forgotten by the Tibetans. Okay, at some in some generation they forgot this was a pun. Okay, and and not many Tibetans understand now that it's a pun. Okay, Yebalayena. Uh, if you divide all existing things into two, can be divided into two. Lopo and tapa, functioning things and unchanging things. Okay, it's interesting that he didn't say. Yeah, 
He didn't say mitapa and tapa. Uh -huh. He didn't say changing and unchanging. Mm -hmm. He said unchanging and functioning. Mm -hmm. He's just trying to emphasize that you, should, you guys should know by now that you can't do something and still be unchanging unless you're a s <laughs> sankhya. <laughs> right? Or, or, or a Christian who believes that God, nobody made God. Okay. When you say yena, are you, does the... Um, yena. Yena. Um, are the two things necessarily contained within the greater thing? Because you could say... They I'm are. Sure. Okay. Sorry. Oh, yeah, normally they are. Normally it's a uh, comprehensive division. There's okay. nothing other. Okay. Yeah, normally, 99% of time, I, I, I would think so. Okay, here we go. Uh, now, when I went to your text, I didn't fix all the right-hand brackets. You're going to have to do that. There is a definition of a functioning thing. Something which can do something. Okay, so we kind of cheated on this one because functioning is not in the word mupo, but we're using it. Okay, so the definition doesn't have as much punch as it would have had. Oh, it's a functioning thing because why? It does something. <laughs> okay, uh, but that's the point of it. We don't have an English word. We don't have a single syllable English word. We don't have a single word word. We don't have a single word term in English for functioning thing. <laughs> Okay. Ngopo dan chepe na mitapa sem denche. Ngopo la. Okay. These three are one and the same. These three are synonyms. Oh. Functioning thing, made thing, and changing thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Adam, read from here. Ngopo la. Ngopo la yena. Good, I like your ye. Sum yete. Suk dan. Shepa dan. Yeah, so this is the thing I based level 7 on, right, in DCI. This following discussion is where part of that part of level 7 comes from. Yeah, we were trying to narrow down where is emptiness. Uh, you want to translate that? If we good, we split functioning things into two, or into three, Mm -hmm. Or there isn't a division of things, uh, Good. functioning things into three. You've mm -hmm. got form, uh, consciousness, Good. Uh, and uh, things which are neither. Yeah, Ch you have to say changing things which are neither. Or changing things which are neither. Yeah, because emptiness is also neither. Okay, got it? Uh, read this. Pem, pem. This B, now, I'll, I'll repeat until the last person doesn't do it anymore. <laughs> It's a voiced uh, consonant. We don't have it in English. It's not a B. It's a PEM. PEMBU. 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 SENYI YUTE. Good. YUTE. There's another one. TE. TE. DU DU DRUPTE. DU DU DRUPTE. I fixed it, okay? DU DU DRUPTE IN BEACHU. This day means happiness. It's wrong. Okay. So, I, I mean, it goes without saying, but I'll remind you. You're not only translating, you're fixing the original carving or the, or the typing. So that's part of being a translator until the day when your grand students are only dealing with texts that have been all cleaned up. Okay. And it, it may not happen for many generations. Okay. And, and I kind of enjoy being in the generation before they're all cleaned up. There's a... Uh, Panini, the great grammarian, Sanskrit grammarian, I, I believe, I don't remember which century he is, but after he showed up, they, they, uh, they wiped away all the old, sweet, interesting changes, and they standardized everything. And it makes me long for the days when everything was more cool. You know, They made everything the same, as far as Sanskrit grammar. 6 to 4 BC somewhere. 6 to 4. What is it? Six oh, to just before. BC oh, nice. Oh, six to fourth century BC. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. <laughs> now, uh, drupa means uh, it is composed of atoms. It's the definition of matter. So I like to use matter for bembo and form for suk. Okay. Uh, rupa, 
I mean, if you're into it, Rupa has a lot of interesting English cognates. Because mm -hmm. wow. it used to be Kaverp. Yeah, Rupa, the Indo-European is K-W-E-R-P. So really, Rupa is the second half of Corps. Uh, and the KWE dropped out. And Army Corps of Engineers and like that. Okay, it's in, I mean, I think it's sexy, but I have a... I keep telling V, uh, who else do you know who knows this stuff? You need me. You need me. How can you order a sandwich without knowing I mean, you need me. Come on. Dan Su, is it, please read. Like, I'm glad you corrected yourself. <laughs> <laughs> nice, your pronunciation is quite good. Uh, matter and form uh, mean the same thing. They're synonyms. Okay, Matter and form in Buddhism are synonyms. But are they? No. Because no. 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 form can be colors and well, also sound as well. Visual, I sense object is. Uh, well, Buddhism would say sound is particulate matter. Sounds. Sometimes you can say particulate matter. What about light? Huh? No, the big debate comes in the, in the Sambhogakaya. Uh -huh. mm. Like a rainbow oh, body? Oh, body is, is not. Oh, it's, it's made of light, but not. It's visible. It's form, but not matter. Yeah. Uh, okay. Mm. It's, it, okay. I mean, there's a debate about it. Uh, just to warn you, probably it's not the school. Uh, if you divide matter or form in, in, in if you divide it, you, it goes into two: outer form, outer form and inner form. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, if you divide either outer form or inner form into two each, uh, if you divide these two. Uh, for each, you get five divisions. Okay. So nga nga means five each. Okay. Uh, how many apples is each monk going to get today? Nyi nyi. It means two each. Okay. So you just repeat the number when you want to say each. Uh, so five each. Uh, five inner forms. do that with ten monks. Five inner, five inner and five outer. Okay. Then in the nga nga Narshe Simbata We already talked about it. <coughs> so Narshe Sin Sin is past tense ariser. Past tense ariser. Past perfect tense. Past perfect tense. We have already described. So you can you can translate sin as uh, we have already explained it earlier. We already covered that earlier. Okay. By the way, you know, obviously you don't have to restrict yourself to explain for shit. You can say, we've covered that earlier, and it sounds a lot more, mm -hmm. it flows a lot better for an English reader. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're, you're free to do that. Mm -hmm. It only requires that you know every other verb in Tibetan. <laughs> <laughs> so you know there's no other verb for cover that he didn't decide to use. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. So until your vocabulary is pretty huge, you're taking a risk when you choose cover for explain here. But when your vocabulary gets to a certain point, you can say there's no other common word for cover. Uh, this, this word, she, can also mean cover. Okay? So then you need a teacher. You need someone helping you with your translation who says, no, you can't use that word because that's another word that he could have used, but he didn't use. But to say that, you have to know most of the verbs in Tibetan. Uh, so that's why you need me for a while. <laughs> On the list of reasons, though. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now, please, <laughs> please read. Well, yeah, the, I mean, technically the goal of a teacher is always to put themselves out of business. You know, like, you, you want to teach someone piano until they can play Carnegie Hall, and then you kind of smoke your pipe on your porch. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, a, and a teacher should be working towards that. It, it, you know, supposedly it's non-ego. 
I mean, it's not, but it should be. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, translate. Um, no, no, there's a definition of awareness. Good. I like awareness because uh, I like to s reserve consciousness for Namshe. Uh, here it is. Uh, because <clears throat> there's something which is clear and I want to say knowing. Yeah, I like but it. Clear and knowing. Yeah. yeah. Almost in, in the sense of transparent. You cannot see it, and it knows. It's aware. It's, it's clear and it's aware. Okay. And, and, and I don't think most people who ever get this far really appreciate the miracle of consciousness. You know, it's, it's, you can't point to it, you can't weigh it, you can't, mo you can't measure it, Qu quantify it. You can't quantify it. But it's what turns a, a, a chunk of meat into a <laughs> perceiver. It's weird. It's weird stuff. You know, it's really weird stuff, you know. If you lose it or if it's degraded for a while, you appreciate it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like if you get Alzheimer's for a week or something, then you're like, oh, it's so nice to have a cell phone, right? But, you know, okay. Yeah, when you're in the hospital or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can see why you would this memorize thing. this text. I mean, it, it's just hard to, uh, it's hard to describe to someone. I mean, it's easy to translate it, but you should meditate on what's, what is awareness, because it's, it's very cool when you, when you hit it, you know. Okay. Uh, keep going. Right. I, I, by the way, I'm going to cut it here. There, is he distinguishing from the, the heap of uh, Nam Tam Shekha? Yeah, he is. Probably three of the, three and a half of the heaps would be in Shepa. In Shepa, okay. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Shepa dang lo dang rikpa sun den shik. Yeah. Sin shi, sin shi, ni ye de nam tien de yin be chu. Translate. Shepa dang. <coughs> um, awareness, uh, mind, um, and knowing. I like it. Um, I like it. Are, are, syno are yeah, synonymous. Yeah, good. These three are synonymous. <laughs> uh, now, anybody can tell me what's a senshi? Uh, a oh. definendum. It, it always means, in these texts, it means the classical example. Oh, damn. What's true. the I classical I example? Yeah, okay, yeah. senshi. What do we say in English? Sencha. We say classical yes, example. Classical yeah. yeah, the classical example of awareness is numken. Um, oh, uh, all omniscience. Yeah, omniscience. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Give me a. Did you? You just defined awareness. Yeah. Now give me. Give me. Give me the prime example. Oh, omniscience. Okay. So uh, most uh, objects in logic have a senshi. A, a prime example. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Uh, By the way, this section is <coughs> vital for all Buddhists. You know, and you all should have this section in your back pocket, in your toolkit, because your students are going to say blah, 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 and you're going to say, come on, let's go look at Dura together. So all of you should be able to translate these paragraphs. These are, these are basic guts of Buddhism. Okay, go ahead. Uh, wow, I've never seen this before. Uh, this is sexy. Uh, say Rengawe. 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 Yeah, it's, so it's a heavy prenasal, Rengawe, because of this open vowel here. Tapa uh, Yena. Oh, we can we can divide unchanging things uh, into two. two. Those which are always unchanging, and those which come and go but are unchanging. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. I've never seen this in another book. Okay, that's why I like this historia the best. Wow. Although he's in the wrong monastery, probably <laughs> just a mistake. Probably. S Switched at the hospital or something. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 uh, 
So what's Rengawa then? Rengawa means intermittent. <laughs> Oh, it's the Tibetan word, it's the Tibetan philosophical word for intermittent. Cool. Okay, uh, comes and goes. Uh -huh. uh, now it's there, now it's not. Okay, you cannot say, you cannot say starts and stops. That's illegal. That's illegal. Because that process is, is gradual. It, it blinks out or blinks in. Okay, uh, when the coffee cup is here, its emptiness is here. When the coffee cup is destroyed, it, it, its emptiness blinks out. But you cannot say the emptiness is destroyed. Mm -hmm. And you cannot say the emptiness grows or starts. Okay? That, that you have to get used to. And only the mixed nuts have figured that out. <laughs> okay? And it uh, actually has to do with subtle impermanence. Subtle, that, which, is it, which is impermanence. You, you have to... Uh, that's a high meditative goal, uh, to, see, to see how things are changing this way. Not, not the way your face wrinkles from year to year, but to see how things are in flux. That takes deep meditation. It's very interesting. You can't perceive that one. So we can, but only in meditation. But yeah, yeah. Okay. When you're destroying the cup, for example, if you squash it, then <laughs> it's incrementally being squashed. No, I know, but so at the final squash, it's... But there's it's emptiness all the way. Yeah, I, I believe so. I yeah, would say well, so. You know, because <laughs> you, you say I'm squashing a cup until it becomes right. not a cup anymore. So then there's like at the point where it becomes <laughs> not a cup anymore. But what's the function of the it's, cup? It's no, but still the emptiness of the cup is there. Until the cup becomes indis indistinguishable oh. as a cup, oh, in my opinion. The emptiness of the cup as a cup. Yeah, and in my then, opinion. And then it becomes yeah, so. the emptiness of the blob. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. up the piece of garbage. Right. Mm -hmm. When you stop talking about his cup and start talking about his garbage, mm -hmm. if, if, mm -hmm. if Tim came in and said, throw yeah. out that piece of garbage, or if he said, throw out that half-crushed cup, <laughs> uh, that's oh, my opinion. That's but cool. this is super sexy, because I've never seen anyone have the sensitivity to say this. Let's hope he gives the right examples. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. Nampa tanche pe takpa shaktu yude she jawa or she jadan yepa ni de meju. Anybody want to take a shot? Shaktu means joke, joke. We can pause it. Pause it. Uh -huh. oh. We can pause it the all aspects. We can pause it <laughs> the first kind, which was uh, unchanging things oh, that, changing. that are. Oh that are not always unchanging, but they're things always. Eternal. Oh, okay. This is permanent, okay? This is permanent. permanent changing things. And the other one is not, <laughs> okay? It means, al it means always, always and always. <laughs> yeah, here, Nampatamje means always and always. It means eternal, okay? Because there's unchanging things which are eternal, and there's unchanging things which are not eternal. Oh, right. The emptiness of this cup is uh, not intermittent unchanging. Intermittent. Comes and goes. So the word yeah. is for the yeah. eternal one is napatam Yeah, I would, I would translate it as eternal. <laughs> or this could be, now fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> this could be properly translated as permanent eternals. Permanent unchanging. <laughs> Un permanent unchanging things. Because that's the meaning of permanent, mm -hmm. and that's the only meaning of permanent. Okay, so so everyone mistranslates it. Mm -hmm. Everyone and people give me Buddhist books. People who don't know me very well, <laughs> they give me a Buddhist book. I open it. It says permanent. I throw it out. I just throw it out right there. If I'm in an airport, I just go. You know, I wait till they walk away. But you you've seen me. <laughs> I just whoosh. I don't want you know. You know, they didn't get that. You know, okay. I don't want to read the rest. I don't want to infect my mind with a wrong translation. I'm very careful about it. I don't look at books about Buddhism that are wrong, because I don't want to remember something later that mm -hmm. that I read. I said I read it somewhere. You know, I don't want that in my mind. And I've I've had that policy for 45 years, and I don't regret it. You know, everything I know comes from the database. Mm -hmm and not from some book I read.
by some professor who made a mistake about eternal. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, here we go. Yes. You said permanent, unchanging things. Is well, I'm just saying. Unchanging things better. Way to say it. It's not permanently like unchanging. Mm. Well, that would imply that it becomes changing at some point. Permanent. That the other things become un become changing at some point, and that's not the point. Yeah. You know. So it exists forever and it's unchanging, right? Yeah. If you, w I would probably use eternal here, uh, but I'm just pointing out that the word. Uh, Permanent means eternal to most people, mm -hmm. and it doesn't apply to all unchanging things. For example, the emptiness of this cup. Okay, so it's a bad translation. It's an unacceptable translation. Okay, okay. Uh, although when you're in the Lam Rim and it says we're going to study the Mitakpa of people, then you could say impermanence, you know, every, nothing lasts forever. That's a different thing, you know. It's talking about your family, your house, your loved ones, your country. They, nothing lasts forever. Then, then it's okay to say everything's impermanent. Okay. All right. Anyway, here we go. In logic, uh, now he gives two examples. Yeah, existence mm -hmm. as the universe. The universe, you know, all knowable things, okay. <coughs> okay. you know, or existence as a, you know, hopefully it won't end. <laughs> okay. Okay. All things. Mm -hmm. Things can come and go inside there, but there's still a group called all things. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't look. Don't look so serious. Just. <laughs> <laughs> now this is the sexy part. You tell me. Rengawa, Rengawa. It oh, sounds like Rengawa, Rengawa right? It this does. is, by the way, it's, it's a wa, I think. It is. Oh. Yeah, yeah this should have been a wa. Mm -hmm. It's not Rengape. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm interested, and you should be, you know, really excited to hear Adam tell us what are the intermittent unchanging things? What are the ones that come and go? Uh, mental images, I would say. Well, he's got two examples here. Oh. Keep going. Bumpe dopa. Oh, the label of dopa. Dopa. Yeah, that's right. And kawa dopa. Kawa dopa. Ni. Ni. De invece. He's got two. Yeah, de invece. What's an dopa? It's like the opposite of it. It's like That's a partial D. <laughs> this is ZL or LD, same, interchangeable. Oh, the opposite of... Yeah, to I'll kiss you, yeah. but he's sitting there. <laughs> uh, I always have a reason not to. Uh, with everybody, I mean. Bumpa uh, Mayimbele Lopa. Oh, because it's Mayimba, uh, because it's not a pot? Bumpa Mayimbele Lopa. Cancel oh, because it doesn't come from everything that's not the pot. Cancel everything that's not the pot. <laughs> and what do you get? <laughs> the pot. <laughs> yeah, that's dopa. Okay. But that's it's right. not the same as a pot. It's it's similar to the emptiness. You see, the dopa uh, is is unchanging, and it means uh, coffee cup as archetype, the unchanging archetype. Of coffee cup, okay. Coffee cup as a, as a coffee cup, you know. Well, when I have uh, different archetypes of coffee cup throughout my life. No, you don't. <laughs> you have different versions of coffee. If I have an archetype of, let's say, no, Katie, have, when I was you a have kid variations of. Katie. Well, you have variations of archetype, okay. but the archetype's the same. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now let's let me explain. Uh, the the archetype cup, uh, which you see in your mind when you when I say cup, what comes up in your mind is a dopa. You know, in the second school, in his school, a South Trantica, what your mind does, according to them, is it checks everything that's not cup in a millisecond mm -hmm. and cancels it, and then it comes to cup. But that cup that that comes to, 
and the cup that your eye consciousness comes to is a different thing. Okay? The first one is an intermittent unchanging. Mm -hmm. right. okay. You see? Uh, because uh, when all cups are destroyed, you know, that can go out of existence. They can start, they can stop using wine bottles and start using coffee cups in a, in a culture mm -hmm. or something like that. Okay? So that's, as long as the thing is around, the archetype is unchanging. But, you know, this could become obsolete, you know, they could stop using coffee cups and they could start using little glass bowls or something. You see what I mean? Okay? Mm -hmm. when, when somebody's inventing something, then they start out, I think they start out with an archetype in their mind of something that didn't exist before. Archetype. Yeah, I would, I think you could argue that the archetype of something precedes the invention of it, yeah, in the inventor's mind. I mean, uh, maybe you could argue that. Okay. So just, I like a painter or a composer. <coughs> yeah. if, if it doesn't yeah. exist anymore, yeah. but you yeah. remembered it still. Uh, that would still be an archetype. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, you know, it's not a bad idea, actually. This, uh, it's Jungian, right? It's yeah. an archetype. It's not, a, it's, not a, it's not too weird. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's actually kind of useful. Okay, but that's a dopa, and dopa is the opposite of all that it's not. Le lopa. So you, you, to, to get it, you just name the thing and then you say mayimba le lopa. Mm -hmm. Le means the reverse. Le lop means you reverse it. Okay, le lopa. And this dopa can be spelled ZL or LD, mm -hmm. but they're both prenasal. And unfortunately, that's a homonym with the present tense of the verb. Don't to apply a term, apply. so no, no connection. Okay. No, okay, no, 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 Sorry. not the same thing. Good, cool. Mm -hmm. So dopas are big in this school. Mm -hmm. They're big on dopas, not dopes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's have some debate about Rang Luk. Uh, let's yeah. have some debate about what we proposed. Uh, so we have reached yeah. Sipapoma, yeah. which oh, is the third. Time. <laughs> yeah, time for you to have a heading. Okay. I imagine you'll have more headings than just those three, depending on how long they go on for. If you have a 20-page Sipapoma, I would split it up. Okay. okay. And again, I would do it not hierarchically, but in a running outline. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's not contradictory that you would have this header would be the you know refuting rebuttal, and then inside the refuting rebuttal, you change headers without don't going to the center of the page or having an A or a 1 or a B or an I, 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 I. Yeah. Uh, so it's illogical technically, but it's, it's good for the reader. For, for a daughter, would you put some sort of, wait, like a traditional outline in back that gives the subject and then the... You could. All, all, almost all the books you're doing, you can have an outline in the back. It depends, it's up to you. I don't think it's going to discourage too many readers, a few maybe. But I think it's pretty safe. It's pretty neutral. Most people ignore them. Yeah. And I think you know, this one too would be a great mind map as well. Oh, yeah. for, yeah. for sure. So for sure. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. To have that mm -hmm. in the back. With by the time, by the time you get grown up, <laughs> uh, paper books may be obsolete anyway. Uh, you know, this kind of thing will be a collector's item. And Sugang, that's what I want to, I want to sell it as a collector's item, <laughs> you see. Because, why are these books here? The, w the Tibetan books. Awesome. <laughs> why are they here? Why aren't they in my house? You don't use them. I have not used them ever since the database. <laughs> I've never opened them. Uh, and I love them. I remember the cloths. <laughs> they have they have meaning to me, you know. <laughs> I remember the particular cloth, who gave it to me, where I was, and I never use them anymore. So anyway, I, I think our series will become an object. Object de art? Well, how do you say it? Objet it's a French Objet word. Objet say again. Objet d'art. Yeah, they'll become collector's items. They'll become pieces of art. 
people will read them online, but they'll, they'll say, I have a sign at home. You know, I have the gold, I have the one with the gold label on it. <laughs> we can have two, right? One costs ten times more. You say, you want the cheap one or you want the gold label one? Yeah. You know, you want the deluxe one. You want the deluxe one or you want the lousy one? I mean, I can give you the one. Uh, is it? Oh, let's do the one argument just for good luck. You ready? Here you go. Not... Okay, take a coffee cup. Tapa yimba tao. Tapa yimba tao. Yeah. Uh, you must be saying that it is unchanging. Why? Because there does exist an accurate perception that the perception that it's unchanging is a thing. Okay, does there exist an accurate perception that sees that the perception that it's unchanging is a thing? Does there? Does someone see uh, about the emptiness of this cup mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that the perception of the emptiness is a changing thing? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all. So he says that must prove that the perception of the cup is a uh, that the cup is there is is unchanging. Okay. Yes, there does exist a, an accurate perception that the perception that it's unchanging is changing. You gotta take a deep breath before this. Because there does exist a perception that there doesn't exist a perception that the perception that it's unchanging is a is a functioning thing, which is false. Okay. Okay. Uh, I forget what this means. Pu means throw it out, you know, spit out. Gel kelp means, uh, I, I believe it means you just tried to give a kelpa, but you gave the opposite of a kelpa. Mm -hmm. If this must be that, you just gave me something where the correct thing is if this cannot be that. Mm. You just gave me a, a, a contradictory keba when you were trying to give me a keba. You were trying to say if mm -hmm. one thing is there, the other one must be there. But what you gave me was if one thing is there, the other thing can't be there. Mm -hmm. You know, I spit out what you, what you say because <laughs> no, you just proved that it had to be the opposite. Mm -hmm. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll stop it spitting out. <laughs> <laughs> So put means reject. I don't know. Spit out. <laughs> Thank, you so much, Thank you. I'm glad to have you here. All right then. Gracie's dad. Sashi Pugi Tushimeto Jam Viram Lingshin in the Gimpani Sange Shindu Migde. By the way, where this subject is normally covered, the section is called Shi Dubgi Namshat. Uh, everything about existence. Uh, but this, this section, he called it Yutok Metok. Flipping between perceptions that things are there and perceptions that things aren't there. He brought up all these subjects inside of there. So how you divide the Dura can be different. We're about to hit Right in five lines, we're six lines. We're about to hit yin log, min log, oh. and that's where they start talking about dogpa. Log is also the word for flipping a pancake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's all logpa, log, 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 log. You know. And then you get into even logs and opposite and uneven number logs, odd number logs and even number logs. You know, it gets. That's going to be dogpa. 
Okay. Okay. Yin log, min log. Next subject.